Hi, my name's Lindy and welcome to my channel. My website is www.lindycowling.co.uk, email info at lindycowling.co.uk and the title of this video is Are we ever too old for pigtails or bunches in our hair? Are we ever too old for pigtails or bunches? No, that is not the title of this video. I'm just playing around, having a joke. The title of this video really is Multidimensional Body Integration. Multidimensional Body Integration. Now, I'm going to keep this video hopefully short and hopefully sweet because I've just recorded one that I hope to put out today. Hopefully this one will go out today as well. There was a third video that I have in mind, but I actually need to integrate some more of what I'm talking about on there before I can share it. So that won't be going out probably today after all until I've assimilated that and integrated it a bit more before I can share it. So what do I mean by multidimensional body integration or multidimensional body upgrades? Of course, as you know, if you are on a process, a journey of ascension into your heart, if you're raising your consciousness, going through um, that process and have been going through it for some time now, and we have all of us different entry points to that process along the way you will 100% reach a point of that journey where all of the shifts and raising and expansion and changes to your consciousness to your cells to your DNA is going to show up in your physical life and in your physical bodies. Why? Because it's inevitable. You can't go through those shifts and expansion of your vibration, your frequency, without those shifts and vibrations and expansions showing up in your bones, in your cells, in your tissue, in your muscles, in your organs, in your teeth, in your hair, in your eyes, in your thoughts, in your feelings. It's going to show up all the way through your body. And it has to because you are integrating and becoming the embodiment of your higher expression of consciousness and vibration in human form. Now, this sounds wonderful, and of course it is pretty much a miracle, really, because it is wonderful. And it's happening all over the world, people. Not all at the same time, because people are different stages of the process, but it's happening all over the world to people. But the embodiment part of it isn't always a walk in the park, so to speak, because there can be, not always, but I'm talking generally, discomforts in some of those changes in the body. So let me put it plain and simple. For some people, they have accompanying pain, profound fatigue, uh, they have huge dietary changes, they have changes in their gut, so they're experiencing big changes in their gut health, uh, they can't tolerate certain foods that they tolerated before, or they have cravings for foods that they never had cravings for before. Um, they need far more sleep than they've ever needed before, or far less sleep than they've ever needed before. 
there are changes to their weights they either put on a lot of weight and if and there are various reasons for that but one of it is sometimes expansion of consciousness the body gets the message the body must expand to hold the expanded consciousness and sometimes the cells or fat cells kind of expand in order to hold that expanded consciousness sort of temporarily or permanently you know it varies for other people they drop weight uh, there is a huge let's say changeover or you could even say disintegration to parts of the way the body was running there's a, in a transformation it's not just words there is actually a transformation in the body so as the body the human body is a representation a representation of your consciousness it's a representation of your human vessel but on a vibratory or frequency level it's a it's a representation of of your consciousness the housing of your consciousness so it's all vibrating and moving whether you're aware of that or not as all of that's being reformed it does come to a point where the physical body is also trying to reform now on its highest and purest level this can mean in an ideal world that pre-existing health conditions, pre-existing circumstances within the body can be healed or changed significantly, can be, that potential is there, you know, there's a lot of other things that get, come into place as well, but all of that is going on. Um, and in its highest form, it means that you can be en route to be functioning in a body that is far more comfortable to function in, uh, far more flexible, uh, far more, let's say, has far more wisdom, um, far more balance, um, all of these things in its highest form. But in order for that to take place, there is almost a like a, I'm not going to say a breaking down process, but in order for the replacements to take place there's a there's a transitionary period an integration period and depending on where you are on that spectrum of your journey or what your entry point was or it's sometimes even your chronological age and what templates and blueprints you're starting from that can be quite challenging for some people quite alarming because there are aches and pains and different things going on there as that changes over and there's a couple of people out there that have been working uh, along the consciousness or spiritual lines that uh, I know of their work who are going through horrendous things at the moment um, going through that embodiment process you know and they're having things like um, hair falling out and loads of different things going on um, others profound dietary changes um, all sorts of things going on while this is changing over so it's not like that for everyone but the reason I'm bringing this video out is that transition the transformation of the body cannot be avoided if if you have chosen to ascend so that's raise your consciousness so that your heart portal is, let's say, running your reality. If you want to be a co-creator on earth, if you want to ascend in a human body on earth, if you want to be in your multidimensional form on earth, you can't do it without the body being a key part of the process. So... The body in its traditional form has to be upgraded. It has to upgrade. It has to integrate it. So that upgrading is different for everyone. Like I say, some people will put on weight with that. Some people will lose a lot of weight with that. Some people will fluctuate somewhere in between. Um, it seems to affect uh, the muscles profoundly, the bones, 
um, like I say, the cells on every single level while this integration is taking place. Now, it's not really if you if you're on that trajectory and you're going down that route, it's not an overnight thing. It's not like you have that for a couple of days or a week. It's not an overnight thing. It's part of the process. So some people that's going on for weeks, for some people that's going on for months, for some people that's going on longer while that process is taking place. I mean, other people are, are talking about um, things like rashes breaking out. They don't normally have rashes, eyelashes falling out, uh, all sorts of things going on. Now, just to put my therapist hat on for a moment, if you are unduly concerned about changes happening in your body that you've never seen before or symptoms you've never seen before, I wouldn't be doing my therapist part of it if I didn't say, if you're unduly concerned, go see a medical practitioner, go and see your normal GP, go and see your doctor just to get it checked out. Uh, but on putting my ascension and energy hat on and consciousness hat on, this seems to be a, an across the world thing that's happening because as part of that integration and embodiment, let's say one's DNA is being rewritten. So the so-called junk DNA, which was never junk DNA anyway, uh, let's say is coming online. So it's like it's like. Um, it's like having a library, uh, you're a library of books and you've only been accessing a, a small portion of them and then you realise you've got the access of the whole library. So the whole library is coming online to you. And that uh, requires a rewriting, if you like, of your data, of your DNA, of your cells, of your vibration. And of course, because your body and your muscles and your bones and your fluids and everything that is you, your consciousness, your personality, your energy field is all part of that. Um, all of that is taking place in those levels as well. And so the body, the physical body is t trying to make sense of it. It's trying to line up with what the etheric body is saying, but these blueprints and these templates are saying these multidimensional ones. So all of that is going on. Now, what I would say to you uh, on a very blunt level, because you know me, I like to be very blunt um, on occasion uh, in the most loving way. Um, let's put it this way. There's only a, a plain way to say it. The more the more shit or the more crap you have to transform, the more material you have to work with. So it's like, again, being in a class where they're doing pottery and they've got clay. The more clay, the more mud, the more crap, the more shit, the more sediment that you have to work with. The bigger the transformation um, that's going to take place. So I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean, you've got more material to work with, like being in an art class. Um, Let's, why, why have one paint to create your true version, to create your true reality? Why do it with one brush if you can have access to all the brushes in the art set? You know, So the more stuff you have to work with on a soul level, on an essence level, on a human level, the more there is to transform. So there's an awful lot going on. And for some people, it can be very alarming that their body isn't uh, responding in the way that's usual for them or old patterns seem more extreme than ever. Or suddenly there are very sudden changes. And like I say, um, a true place where it really is showing up in people is the gut. Uh, because the gut is a real integral part of human health, actually, and has, in a way, its own its own mind. You know, the gut, um, and there are there is extra support needing there, um, changes to diet needing there. Now, everyone's different, so I'm not a qualified nutritionist or anything. What I would say is I'm not going to give advice on that because every person's different. So I could be working with ten people, and they are all different. 
and that what they require on a gut level is different to everybody else depending on, on their own unique makeup, their own state of their physical linear guts, and also what's been happening in their life, etc., where they're at on the journey, etc. So take notice, really listen, listen to your bodies, listen to it. Now, on a, on a general rule of thumb, more important than ever to be getting out in nature connecting with nature in trees on grass walking on on the earth being near moving water you know these kind of things getting some fresh air balance 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 if you're super tired listening to that and if you can factor in extra rest it's really important get extra rest um if you're full of energy, again, kind of don't overdo it. But if you're full of energy, find a way of expression and channeling that energy. But again, coming back to balance, balance, balance. If you've got particular massive cravings in your diet, making a note of it and just going with it. You know, the body often has such an amazing wisdom. Yes, sometimes the body gets confused and caught up with addictions. And that's not really its wisdom at that point It's caught up in something else. But generally, you know, you'll be able to trust your own instinct and, and be able to tell, oh, you know, this is my same old, same old. Generally speaking, the body has a wisdom. If you're craving something in particular, maybe you need that at this point in time in particular for what you're needing. There's a lot going on on a lot of different levels because it's not just the consciousness, there's actual physical restructuring of the of the body going on where you need different things in the diet to what you needed before or you need to exclude things, exclude things that you needed before or you needed a bigger variety than you've had before. So it's up to you really to listen to that because you know, ultimately that's going to make it easier for you or harder for you if you don't. Um, just thinking if there's anything else that I need to say. Um, what I would say is it seems that this is happening in stages and in phases. Um, not everyone this, watching this video will go through it in this way because it really depends again on their age range as to what blueprint and template they're holding the families they came in through their life experience their personalities all sorts of variations here and so not everyone will go for it this way but a lot of people will and it really depends on if the decision has been made on your soul level if you want to do this on a human body level I'm not going to tell you it's easy. It's not easy uh, to do it on that level, to actually hold the frequency on every level of your body, not just channel it, but become the embodiment of it, because there is a changeover period for the body that's needed to do it. And again, it can be OK, it can be comfortable or it can be very uncomfortable. Just go with it. And if there is anything you're unduly concerned about, you know, it doesn't get it doesn't do any harm to go and get yourself checked out, whether that's conventionally through your own medical practitioner or, or your own doctor, GP, etc. Or, you know, if you if you absolutely do not want to go down that route, then unconventionally, you know, with a with a natural practitioner, let's say that knows their stuff. So if you are going through that part of your process, because there will be many people watching this video that they are not going through that part of the process at the moment because they're not at that particular part for them. If they've chosen on a soul level or a spirit essence level to ascend in their human body, they will hit a stage where it has to come, their consciousness has to settle into the body in a different way to how you've been settled before because it's in a higher form so your body's going to try and come into its highest form because it's it's what it's getting told to do by you as consciousness by you as a soul by you as essence 
you're informing your own body, which is your cells and frequency in a more tangible form, if you like. It's, it's being informed, your body's being informed what is the best route for you to be in your most balanced form, your most healthiest form for you. Everybody's different. So your body is striving to match that, striving to make the changes that your own consciousness, soul and spirit is telling it, is literally programming it with. And that's going to take a period of time for everybody. So it is an extraordinary thing. It's an extraordinary thing. Now, part of what's going on here before I close this video, because I don't want this video to be too long. Like I say, I was going to record another one, but I'm going to... I'm going to wait on that a little bit longer. That will probably be out within the next week till I have all the input I need to say on that. Um, but just to close this, you know, part of that integration is, is kind of integrating your, your kind of quantum form, your crystalline form, your plasma form, your integrating on multiple different levels multiple different levels and it's like the only way i can explain it the way i'm getting it now while i'm on here is all the information that's needed the 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 blueprints the plans the templates are all in that junk dna because we have done this before this isn't the first time we've done it it was done before in the times of atlantis and lemuria it's being done again. So that, that junk DMA was just semi-dormant, wasn't junk. So as you're coming online again um, to this, this time round, it's all mixed in. You know, there are different things within that DNA uh, that can be helped from what you're doing in your physical linear everyday life or your physical multidimensional life, where, wherever you're at. But there are also things from outside that are helping that. And of course, there are things outside that try not to help that, to try and derail. But there are plenty outside that do try and help with that. And there are particular um, frequencies or rays that come through the sun. And even I'm going to say some of the some of the crystalline DNA within, I'm going to say gamma rays, I want to say plasma. Um, also is aligned with that dormant DNA that's coming online. And, and those rays coming down are helping boost that and speed it up. So there is a lot going on on those levels of energy as well that is trying to encourage you or us as an energy field, as um, spirit, as essence, as soul, as humans, all one and the same in different forms, but all one and the same being. There are things trying to encourage that and help that. Yes, there are things out there that are trying to discourage that and not help that, but we won't get into that today. There is there is lots going on um, out in the consciousness, in your consciousness, but the collective consciousness out in the energy there, in the a lot going on with the sun, a lot going on in the ethers, shall we say, a lot going on with plasma levels, uh, gamma levels crystalline levels that are coming online not really all at once there are phases and stages of this because nobody wants to fry the system you can't want run 50,000 watt light you know through a 60 watt light bulb it's got to all be integrated so somebody might be going through this and they're coming their crystalline aspects coming online somebody else might be going through this and it's more plasma coming online or something it's not all at once for everybody but it's all part and parcel of what's happening so try not to panic if you are unduly worried and symptoms do are very unusual for you or you are worried about it go get it checked out medically just to be on the you know safe side if it puts your mind at rest but just check yourself out me medically because of course at the end of the day if 
if you do have a pre-existing health condition, yes, it can be rewritten, shall we say, and brought into balance by this process, but it also this process, let's say, it makes changes and it can, if, if you've got a broken hose pipe and you're trying to flow a big flow of consciousness or water through a broken hose pipe, it can put extra strain on the bit that was broken. So sometimes that needs an upgrade and sometimes it might need an upgrade in a physical sense here, not just in a consciousness sense. So let's say be sensible, be balanced about it. But in the meantime, look after yourself, extra care, um, extra listening to the body and uh, just go with it. If you've signed up to ascend in the human body, to a certain degree, you've got no, you've got no choice. You know, you've got to go with it. Uh, you're the most of the way there. The, the embodiment of it, let's say that's the final phase of it, really. That's the final stages of it. The back end of that process is to be embodying it. Yeah, the process doesn't end there. But then, you, you know, you're the embodiment of it. You're still going through your process and raising your consciousness. But this, this is a real key part of it that uh, if you've signed up to, go, to ascend in the human body, none of us can get away with or away from, despite how much we might want to. On that note, I will love you and leave you as always. Thanks for watching this channel. Thanks for supporting me as the channel. For those of you that are kind enough and inspired enough to donate uh, to me as that channel and for the work that I put out on this channel free of charge, thank you so much. And from my heart to yours, gratefully received and gratefully appreciated. I will see you guys again soon, probably with that third video that's swimming around in the mix. So um, I'll probably see you within about a week or something, see how it goes. Until then, look after yourselves. Bye.